Hey everyone, I am back to do a bit more work on our spooky skull. Wow, we're trying to make him friendly, aren't we? Now I've just been off for a biscuit and a and a cup, sip of coffee, but um, I thought we would carry on. Now I quite like the range of colours that we have in the Scorpion pencil set that we were using and I think I'm just going to continue using those. I don't think we need to necessarily break into any other Black Widow sets but we will see how we go. Now I've decided I'm probably going to start at the bottom and work up because we've done more work down here and I want to see how these look before I decide on how to colour those florals at the top. So I'm going to start by coming in a little closer for you. Whoops. There we go, and uh, we'll bring that into shot. Now I don't. I think I'm going to leave the centre of these blank, but we're going to do these little bits here. Um, and I think so we've got our sort of bright primary colours really going on down here. So I'm thinking these little dots. I quite like to do a really bright yellow. We have our. Um, I think the yellow sand might work we'll give it a go for these um dots i'm hoping it'll show up enough it's quite tricky when it's a really small space i know this is the first one in the pack and i'm not intending on working through them again in sort of order but i have decided that the next one i want to do is the next one along which is the pastel lemon i'm going to use it for these and i'm going to just not do any shading because they're quite small spaces so i'm just going to try and fill that space with some color really and uh, try and get it looking quite fairly bright i've made a decision about um the skull i know i'd said i was going to do it um black i'm not <laughs> I've decided I'm going to leave the skull white and I'm going to do some black in the background with some pastels. I thought that might be fun. So we'll see how that goes. Now teeth, I'm never sure what to do. I'm going to leave them actually. Having said I'm going to do all of this, I'm not. I'm going to leave them. Sometimes I like to do them gold. Um, I think that's quite fun. But we'll see. I have a think. We've got these three dots to do. We'll concentrate on that. And I think I'm going to just grab the um, very pretty blue heaven colour so what I said was I felt was a sort of mid thallo blue sort of colour so just do those dots I think that sort of finishes off this area I can't see that bit um, in a nice bright way now we have our sort of more pastel area up here so I'm thinking how are we going to sort of balance this out with these um hmm Maybe, do we have a dark purple? No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe, because we've got all these reds. Um, we need something that just sort of works together with red. Um, yellow does, but I don't think they're quite bright enough yellows. Um, I don't really want orange again, so I think maybe we'll go for blue. Yeah, let's go for blue. Hmm. So we've just, hmm. Yeah, let's go for this darker blue, the blue horizon. It's very pretty. And we'll start with this one here. So I'm hoping to uh, fade it towards the tip of the flower a bit. That's it. Getting more used to, oops, them going out of the line, but hey. Now I'm wondering whether if I leave the skull white, should I? do it um should i leave the paper but this paper's a bit creamy so do i leave it cream or do i actually get some white pen and go all over it in white pen or pencil that's gonna be hard work isn't it but it will look really white then but i think by the time i put if i do do a sort of black pastel swirly cloudy type look to a background I don't think it will be necessary to have the um to have the um it really white blue heaven I think it will still look um white enough that's what I'm trying to say in slow syllabolic words while I concentrate on colouring at the same time 
I gave my friend a laugh this morning. She said to me, <clears throat> excuse me, that she'd left one of my videos playing while she was going off to sleep, Galaxy Blue. Or well, she fell asleep while she was listening to it. I'm going to do these dots. And um, when she woke up uh, three hours or so later, I was still talking. <laughs> and um, my son always says that my videos are so boring that I would send anyone to sleep. So I told him and he had a right giggle. It was hilarious that someone fell asleep. <laughs> my friend did. I told my friend and she laughed, but she did say, um, you're not boring. But I think it's all about context, isn't it? Some people are going to find it boring. And some people aren't. It doesn't matter. I'm not worried. If I can um, help people sleep, that's all good. Whether it's uh, because it's boring or not, I don't mind. <laughs> the whole point is it's relaxing. I hope. There we go. I think they just ties together all those blues. Now, I'm not sure whether to do something in there. I think I'm not. I think I'm going to leave it. Um, oh, sorry, just wiping my eyes. Now, we have these two white flowers here, which obviously, um, I think they look really pretty with that gold um, coloured. I think that was the um, um, dark tan. It looks really nice, but I'm not going to leave them white because we're leaving the skull white, so I need to pick a colour. And I think we're sort of moving from our darker colours at the bottom to our more um, pastel ones around the eyes so I might try and do something that's sort of tra transitional as it were and maybe this might just work if we use um uh, I'm trying to figure out I think no that's not going to work um, um let's do 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 mm. let's do the oh I'm dropping the pencils. The oh, I'm actually going to do the galaxy blue again, I think, but I'm going to mix it with another colour. And I'm going to do it lightly like this. I thought we could just invent a new colour, which would be fun. So, a little bit more towards the centre and fade it all the way to the tip like that and we're going to add another colour on top after I want to make a sort of purpley colour hopefully we can do that with this blue oh gosh the sun's very bright all of a sudden I've got my blind closed now I don't know if it's obvious when I'm recording whether the blind's open or closed but um I'm going to mix in our lightest pink, which is the pig's ear. And you can see how well they blend together colour-wise. This one's quite um, fluorescent. It's obviously sitting on top of the blue and not really mixing in. I can see. It just looks like there's specks of blue showing through. That is how um, harder pencils do um, react when they're when you're mixing them. They don't fully mix together. They're not um, like paint. They sort of sit on top of each other. So there we go. There's a sort of transitional colour, as it were. Now I'm going to do. Um, sorry, I have to blow my nose. Um, this um, inside part on the eye. I don't want to leave that white. I think I might leave that bit white but I haven't quite decided yet um so what should we do there we've got our pinks in the middle we've got this um the um pastel purple and that one around the edge I think is our um deep purple which is more of a ready purple I could really do with a a sort of something in between the two so I am actually going to grab my scorp Ooh, sorry my scorpion set and there is a perfect purple in here so although I wasn't sure if I would need to oh I think I definitely do so this is the amethyst okay and I think it's just gonna work brilliantly 
and I'm going to use it all the way around both of the eyes. So I hope everyone's well. Um, I don't know what else to talk about today. Um, I told you I was out earlier, but I told you about that in the earlier video when I did this. Um, what have we got coming up? Just having a think. We are um, very much thinking about our kitchen. I was actually just, when I was just on my, I'm having a coffee, well, a sip of coffee in my biscuits. <gasps> Naughty girl. I, um, they were only oat cakes. Um, I was looking at a um, estate agent's website. Someone I know is selling a house and I wanted to have a look at it, but it hasn't gone up yet. So I was looking at another house and it was a three million pound house and I thought what can you get for three million pounds it was what struck me first was the cleanliness and the neatness of the house every wall was perfectly clean perfectly well painted I mean they've probably done this to sell the house you know it's probably not like that all the time and every surface was clear everything was put away and I was like oh that ducks like bliss I absolutely love clean, tidy surfaces, everything really neat and tidy, put away beautifully. Now, if I had a million pound house, I'd probably have the room to have storage for all of my stuff, <laughs> but I don't, or my husband's stuff either. So, and it's like the kitchen had nothing on any surface apart from, you know, I had toaster kettle, that sort of thing but nothing and I think about our kitchen on the surfaces yes we've got microwave toaster kettle and then we've got salt and pepper we've got vitamin tablets we've got a fruit bowl I mean you know that that's okay um, and then there always there's a calendar stuck on the fridge you know um, with our sort of appointments on I guess we could put it we might move that inside a cupboard when we have our kitchen done because um, this was why I was looking at kitchens so having our kitchen done um, by the time this goes out, we might have had our first meeting with our um, sort of fitter um, company. Oh, I like that. That's worked well. What I'm going to do with the eyebrows is I'm actually going to use the colour I used, which I need to figure out what it was. I think it was the turquoise, wasn't it? And I'm going to do all of the bits in the same colour. So I'll keep talking. And it was all just straight plain colouring, which is what I'm going to continue doing. Um, so, yeah, I was looking at the kitchen because we're having our kitchen done. Now, it's a bit of an old-fashioned looking kitchen. It wasn't what I would want. Now, we're, ours isn't going to be fashionable, but it's um, it's going to be not quite so old-fashioned as that. It's hard to describe, but um, it's not going to look like that one did. But it was quite fun just looking at... Uh, at that house and thinking my my and the carpets were all perfectly clean and hoovered they all look brand new perhaps they were all the wooden banisters were polished and brilliant you know it was like, wow now these um droplets and these triangles i've got a color in mind for that from the um cobra set now you could if you don't have you if you don't have other black widows or you don't have all of the colors um, you could use the um, the one we've just used and just continue using it. But I'm going to use this Aquarius colour from the Cobra. It's slightly different, but I think it will just sort of match well. Because look, it's a sort of turquoisey blue, but it rather than being this being more of a green, oh, the lead is um, a bit loose. I'm going to try with the um, with the. Um, tear sh teardrop shapes to uh, fade it a little bit towards the top but the others ones are just straight colouring if that makes sense so a little bit darker down here and less up there like that wibble wobble lead I should sharpen it but I'm just going to carry on I haven't changed the um, the blades in my sharpness yet I need to do that Ooh, can you see it? <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> I shall quickly put it away. No, actually, I'll put it to the side because I need to note which ones I've used. Now, we need a colour in here. Now, what are we going to use? 
we need something bright. Now I'm thinking we could we use orange because we've got this orange one down here and would it just sort of work? I think it might be a good idea. So I'm going to find a different, we could use the same orange, we could use a different orange. I'm just looking in my set. Um, I think I'm going to start mixing it up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to use a sunset from the Cobra, it's a little bit different. And I might use a different one for this bit. See, this is a little bit paler, a bit more yellowy than the one um, at the bottom, which you can't see because it's out of shot. So I'm trying to make it a little bit darker around the edge and slightly less in the middle. I just heard some swans fly over. It's always nice. And we go to the spider set and use the pumpkin. You could just use the, the um, what was it called? The burnt orange from the scorpion set, if that's what you've got, or any orange. This one's a little bit darker, you see. I just wanted a bit of difference in colour. We're going to fade that up towards the top of the petals. Try and colour it so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> So yes, yeah, so, um, it is quite fun, the kitchen idea, but it's a little bit stressful. I'm, this week I've spent quite a lot of time getting rid of things where we've been having a sort out to make space. I actually had a dream about the kitchen last night, I can tell you about that. I had loads of dreams last night, very strange ones, but this one wasn't so strange. Um, I'm going to do those two there. Now over here we have our spider in dark brown but we have these two here. I'm not sure I want them to be in dark brown. I thought we could balance it, but I don't think we can. So I'm just going to... Mm, just going to do something. Um, it's opposite all these pinks, so I'm thinking maybe I'll grab um, some pinks from the other sets. Yeah, I'll use those two, I think. So I'm going to start with the plum pudding, which is from the spider set. It's a sort of pinky purple and use that and then we'll add in another colour with it as well and you'll see. So I'm going to put a lot here at the top and then fade it down so it doesn't look anything like this but it sort of continues with the same sort of colours. So yeah I dreamt that the kitchen fitters had replaced one kitchen cabinet and the sink <laughs> and that was all and I was really pleased. Um, I, I knew it wasn't finished, I wasn't sort of thinking it was but um, it meant I had my new sink in, so I didn't have to worry about being without a sink, which is obviously a bit concerning. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Because uh, we've got to take everything out of the kitchen, have the floor levelled. And that's going to be at least a few days without being able to go in the kitchen at all. Which is going to be interesting. So I'm going to use, I'm not going to use that one that I picked, I'm going to use a different one. Um, this one is quite good actually. This is the fancy pink from the Cobra set, it's quite pale. You could use the um, pig's ear or the, um, yeah, the pig's ear would probably work, but I just want to use something a bit different. It's a slightly different shade. I'm quite... Um, um, looking forward to swatching these three sets and sort of comparing what they've got um, in my new swatch book that I was um, gifted, which I'm very grateful for. Um, their Black Widows are all on the one page, so you can swatch them together. They don't have the um, Monarch and the um, Dragon sets, but I don't have those anyway, so it doesn't matter. So there are those two. I'm going to do these dots in this lighter pink, but I need to sharpen it. Bit worried about sharpening as I see my these sharpeners keep breaking all my pencils. Oh, I think we're all right. There we go. Now we need some green for the um stem. Now with a pink, I think a slightly more bluey green is appropriate. Now we actually don't have many of those in this set, apart from maybe um, the Irish green. So let's do the Irish green. I want to try to use the new ones as much as I can um, for you, um, but obviously sometimes I just feel like I need something a little bit different, but I think this will work nicely. It's quite 
vibrant and we've got quite a vibrant vibe going on with these two um, flowers. There we go. Now, how long have we been going for? 20 minutes. What I'm going to do, just to let you know, in the description is I'm going to put the names of the pencils that I've used from the Scorpion and the Cobra sets, but not from the um, school, not from, from the Cobra and the and the Black Widow, the spider sets, I'll put the names, but from the um, Scorpion sets I haven't been noting what I've been using. Um, so I will probably just be using most of them really. Now we have got this big flower in the middle. Now we coloured the centre with a very pale yellow, which is fine. Now I need to think about what colour I'm going to do and I quite like the idea of continuing this pink theme. I wanted to do the eyes pink to keep them looking friendly because the skull eyes can be a bit ugh. Now, I don't know whether to do a colour around the outside. I don't think I will. But this one, so I'm thinking I'd quite like to continue with that pink theme. So, and sort of pink and purple. So I'm going to start actually with the pastel purple and mark out some of the areas where I think it would be dark. And we're actually going to mix the um, purple and pinks together. So I'm going to just start each petal with a little bit of purple and spread it out a bit. And then we're going to put the pinks on top. And it should hopefully just give us a little um, impression of depth, really. So I expect you'll um, or want to see some photos of my kitchen when it's done. <laughs> I might post them if I get ultra excited. But uh, we'll see. It's not really colouring related, is it? But uh, it is, uh, but it will be ages. We have a bit of a dilemma. It has to be done during the holidays, um, the the college holidays, because I can't be giving my my kids have to have a packed lunch. They need a cooked meal at night. I can't be messing them around when they're at college, and it will stress me out probably more than them to think that they're not maybe not going to have a proper dinner. And they might have to have toast for tea or something like that. If they're on holiday, if they're on their college holidays, it doesn't matter. Or we can pop out or I can just buy a ready meal, which um, I don't really like doing. But, you know, if they're on holiday, because my one son doesn't sleep well if he doesn't eat properly. And so if it's the holidays and he's not sleeping well, it's not going to be so bad. So, um, just making sure you can see you can. Um, so it's got to be in the holidays. So if they can't get a... Uh, crew um, to do it in the in that time then we have to wait until next summer which will be a blow because I hadn't I felt a bit rushed into saying yes I wanted it done we've been talking about it for ages and uh, I was sort of saving up and things like that and getting a thinking about it a little bit and then my husband suddenly declared that we were just going to go ahead with it and he's um he's provided found some money which is good um, so we can just do it using some savings that we've got. So, uh, which we sort of had tucked away, but I can see it's a good idea. It's, you know, and um, so I wasn't sort of ready. I said, you're rushing me. And then I saw a particular showroom in the town where we live and called some the person round and she was very rushed in a hurry, didn't seem to listen to what I was saying when she gave me the quote it was just one figure and I said what well, does this allow for x and y and z and she said no I haven't included those even though I'd asked her for them when she came round so I was really unimpressed and I was just like this has just put me off having the whole thing done I'm just like no <laughs> but um, my husband was still keen he went to a place in another town nearby where, uh, where my parents live he popped into town to do some shopping in Ryman's to buy some stationery, as he always does, and um, popped into this um, showroom and spoke to the people, and they were really good, and he was sort of on track with wanting to go ahead. So he sort of convinced me, and they're the people that are coming round. Now I am going to be using the um, Delicious Pink to do more. I'm going to go over this purple colour and spread that colour down the petals. It's, I like the sort of subtleness of it. It's really pretty. 
I think um, I've seen these skulls done with really dark red flowers which look amazing but I quite like the idea of keeping it quite light I'm not pressing as hard as I did for this I'm just keeping it really light and delicate I think it's rather nice you might want to press harder but really I'm just putting one really gentle layer over the whole thing and uh, I think it's it's good but we'll see I might change my mind once I've done the other flowers and think it needs to be a little bit darker but we can add more layers we can't take them away as I say lots of times so um, he just decided he because we like color that um, we're gonna have a really colorful kitchen um, we looked at that he'd sort of said oh should we go for gray or something you know which is trendy and it just seemed a little bit wishy-washy you know currently we've got uh, light wood but they're very hard to clean um, the wood the shape of the doors they're the sort of shaker style and they collect dirt and dust so we want something that's easier to clean so we want a flat gloss type finish maybe but I think the gloss ones were all sort of greys and creams and things, eggshells. Well, not even like blue eggshell, just tan. And he was like, I want some colour. You know, we like our colour. So he looked at some coloured ones, but they, um, I think they're a matte finish. But I will, we will have to check um, when she comes round and we can chat to her whether... Um, whether we can, whether they're sort of nice and easy to clean because that's really what we want and if it's a matte finish would it be hard to clean? I don't know, I mean my bathroom doors are slightly glossy but not really shiny and they're really easy to clean on the on the cabinets in there so we'll see but uh, it's it's exciting but we just hope it I'm just hoping it can go ahead because it's going to be disappointed if we have to wait but when I spoke to them on the telephone they said because they subcontract out the work one of the teams they use is very big so they've got a lot of employees so they're very likely to have someone available to do the job which is exciting so uh, yeah it is uh, it, it is exciting so uh, yeah, this is turning into a colour and chat rather than any sort of tutorial. I'm just colouring. <laughs> it's a big flower. But I hope you're colouring along with me, whether it's this or something else, it doesn't really matter. But uh, we'll see how it um, turns out. Maybe you want to see how it finishes before you decide if you want to do it. I would. <laughs> I'd want to see the finished picture first. But uh, that's me can't see my finished picture first I've just got to go with it I'm wondering whether to do all the flowers on the top of the head here in a sort of lighter touch to keep it looking more um, light I'm not sure but I like that being really light I think it's pretty now I want to do a sort of purpley flower. I'm not sure whether to do these two the same. It's not really a symmetrical picture, so I'm not sure, maybe not. Um, and we have the, mm, we have that nice purple that we just used, which I could use as my lightest color, and I want a darker purple. I'm gonna pick one, I think that, um, that's a bit pale. I'm sure the Cobra set has. Yes, there's quite a dark purple here called Grape in the Cobra set, which I'm going to use. And I think we'll do this one. I'm going to try and still keep it fairly light, but this is a much more vibrant colour. You'll see when I start putting it down. But I'm just trying to put a little more near the centre unless as we go out towards the edge. I'm just looking at the time. This will be the last flower I do in this video and then I'll, I'll do another one. Um, I'm keeping them reasonably short. Um, what well, is 30 minutes? But because um, once the kitchen's being done, if it does done, I'm not going to be able to record very much. So I want to get a little bit ahead with maybe some shorter videos so that there's something around for you always to watch. Still, if I can, it may be that I'm going to have to limit and maybe only do one a day, not two. 
but uh, we'll see how it all goes. I'm just trying to get a little bit of head. The problem is, as well, I'm a huge tennis fan and Wimbledon is going to be on soon. <laughs> I'm going to be wanting to watch it. So that's going to limit my recording time somewhat. So we'll see. We'll just see what happens. You know, I might find the builders are really quiet and I can just record while they're here. But uh, I'm sort of doubting that, to be honest. They might not be in every day. There are certainly weekends, but then I, you know, weekends is family time. Unless they're... Sometimes they're involved in watching TV and playing games, and then I come and record because, yeah, you know, not we're not talking, but um, often we do do things together. So anyway, we'll just see. So there's that first layer. Again, still nice and light, and we're going to go dig back into our scorpion set and get our pastel purple to finish off in the same way we did with this one. So just gently going over the top. Still trying to make it a little more faded towards the edge of the petal. Now, obviously I'm doing this lightly, but these pencils are very vibrant. They aren't um, pastel-y in any sense. I'm just using a really soft touch to get a lovely, um, well, what I think is a, a lovely delicate feel to these flowers up here. But uh, And it's just showing you a different way of using them, really. But if you want a vibrant, vibrant colour, then just layer them up. Um, you know, you certainly can get lots of colour, as you would have seen when I did the um, earlier video. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to go and get a coffee as well. I made my coffee before I recorded this. It'll be a bit cold. How long have we been going? 30, 32 minutes, yeah. It's going to be cold. <laughs> But hey, I usually have water because uh, it doesn't matter if it goes cold. Hot water. I quite like drinking a, a hot water sometimes, especially if my stomach's unsettled. I find the hot water is uh, is soothing and uh, it's not too acidic, which sometimes tea can be. And coffee because of the milk. I always have milk in coffee and um, soy milk or oat milk. I find that can uh, it doesn't always suit me. Um, it doesn't always... I don't always fancy it, let's put it that way. So there's that one. Now, with these large flowers, you could put a lot of colour in under each of these petals to make it look more three-dimensional. It's not going to work with the look that I am trying to achieve here. So I am going to zoom out for you so you can see what we have done so far. There we go. Oh, a little bit more. So we've got quite a lot of vibrancy in the face and I'm going to continue with this lighter feel, I think, to the sort of crown, crown of flowers. I'm not sure, but um, that's that's my plan. And then we're going to do something for the background. But I don't know whether um, how many more videos it will take, but I will just keep going through 20, 30 minutes videos and uh, and we'll form a little mini series, actually, won't we? So that'll be fun. But um, as I say, I won't be noting down all the colours for the new Scorpion set. Um, um, but I will note down the colours from the other sets that I've used um, for you. I just didn't keep a, keep a proper note as I was going, so I'm sorry about that. But there we go. Thank you for watching today. I'm off to have a coffee and I'll come back and do a little more. But uh, I hope you have a really lovely day and tune in tomorrow for the next instalment. Um, thank you for watching and happy colouring.